Alright, what's up guys? It's Tim and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how I edit my uh, my gameplay commentaries. And it's not a whole lot of steps. You'll probably hear some mouse clicks here and there. You'll also probably hear some thunder in the background. I don't know what's going on outside. But yeah, today I figured I'd show you kind of how I go through my editing process. Uh, so maybe you can make videos kind of like me and you know, so on. So first off, you need the gameplay, right? Uh, I'm not going to make videos on how to get the gameplay or anything, but I'm assuming, you know, if you use Elgato or OBS, whatever the case may, may be, you have some gameplay, you label it, you import it. It's pretty simple. It usually has to be an MP4 file for uh, Premiere Pro to work. And, uh, and you know, if not, then, then it is what it is. Just uh, do whatever you can to bring the gameplay in. So first off, you'll see that I have multiple tracks. If I play a little bit here, you can hear uh, some game audio. You can hear picking up the tags and whatnot so i have it set so that the uh, game audio is on this track let me unlink first so this track will be the game track uh one of these is the mic and one of these is like the desktop audio so in case like i'm in discord calls or something it'll record here and my yeti mic will record this layer so obviously i wasn't talking in this one i don't talk in all of them so if you my suggestion is if you're not using certain layers just go ahead and delete them uh link them back up and highlight and there you go this right here is some audio commentary uh, uh, just a quick little test snippet. I'm gonna use it for, uh, you know, how to edit audio in Premiere Pro. So here we go. Let's go ahead and listen to it first. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test recording. Maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on. So here you go. Yeah. So basically, uh, that's that. And so I'm gonna use that as uh, as a test recording uh, for now. So first off, in terms of the gameplay, um, you know, it looks fine, right? It doesn't look great. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. So what I do is, I mean, obviously people don't wanna watch like a 15 second startup time, right? So what I do is start it like basically right when you start moving. Um, I mean, you could change it regardless. So what I did is I hit C or this tool, the uh, razor cut tool or razor tool, and just go ahead and highlight this section, delete, right click, ripple delete. So that just starts you off right away. Following along with that, I usually pick a video transition. Usually I go with cross dissolve, just, you know, drag and drop right onto the front and uh, hit this to go to the beginning. And right, guys, boom, when you hit video. space, you right, guys, have that nice video. little cross dissolve. Whereas if you didn't have it, it would just right, guys, boom, start off video. like that. So it's, it's kind of nice. You can pick what you want. Sometimes, you know, you can go right, pick guys, dip to video. white. Uh, you can do dip to black. Right, guys, test it's video. kind of the same thing. You can do some motion ones, right? You can do cube spin. Um, All right, guys. Test there you go. Yep. So you know, I personally like cross dissolve, but you know, you pick what you uh, what you want to pick there. So let's go ahead and bring cross dissolve right back on here, and right, guys, there you go. It. That's how it starts. Now, uh, I'm going to cut. Um, let's say here. So this part, and then this part. I'm going to have a little separation. So what I want to tell you now is pretty important. So what you want to do is type in fast color on the uh, effects column up here on the uh, top right. By the way, if you don't have the effects column here, all you got to do is go to window uh, on the top of your frame there. And, and you should see, uh, you know, if you hit window on the top left of your screen, you can see uh, a drop down, just check effects or uh, hit shift seven and your effects column should show up. So when you have effects, go ahead and drag a fast color corrector on to, um, I mean, either one here, but so I'll just, so this one will be the main one that's not touched. This one will have the color correction. So when you have that, go on over to your effect controls and make it a little bit bigger here so you can see. And what I start off doing is increasing the saturation, right? So if you just type in, let's say 150, boom, you'll notice right away that I'll make the thing a little bigger. So um, let me go ahead and go back to 100 and then boom, 150, 100, 150. You can see the color uh, in immensely go up. Uh, some people go up to 200 personally, like if you just play it, I think 200 looks a bit too saturated. I know some people just like love seeing that, but it's a bit too much for me. So I'm just gonna keep mine usually around like 130, 140. Uh, it depends on the game, it depends on the map. Black Ops 4 usually has more saturation built into the game, so you don't really need as much, whereas something like Ghosts would need a ton. <laughs> the other thing I would do is just mess around with the input levels here. As you can see, if I just drag them in, drag them in, uh, it kind of looks a little bit more crisp. The whites and the dark, uh, the, the whites and blacks don't look as um, I guess like faded, you know, they don't look quite as uh, as contrast. They kind of move in towards the uh, the center more. You could drag this for like the overall highlights as well. Um, just play around with the color saturation here. Uh, if you want it to be like a, a bit more of a darker tone, you can go darker. You can go a bit lighter too. Uh, it, it's really all the, up to you, personal preference. I would just change the saturation um, and the input levels, output levels for now. 
Another thing I like to do, small little thing, is just type in sharpen, bring that in here and you'll see sharpen down here in the bottom left here as well. Uh, go ahead and type in whatever makes sense to you, like for instance 20 is usually way too much. Um, most people suggest 10, but personally I even like going less than that. I usually go between 5 and 8, uh, so I mean 5 is just to give that you know a crisp little bit more sharpen, uh, sharpened look. So let's drag this down a bit more. So um, Let's go ahead and move it back and then you'll see a few seconds of, you know, the color corrected and then boom, not color corrected. So you can see a difference. It's not a huge difference. Uh, you don't need it, but you know, if you want your gameplay to be like standing out a little bit differently, you can actually customize, uh, you know, your color correction settings accordingly. And you can play around with this wheel. You can make it look, you know, all kinds of difference for, you know, different highlights and stuff. I don't know why you do it, but you can definitely go ahead and do that. Okay. So now that we have this going, uh, I want to talk about audio for a bit. Some, you know, audio settings that I like to use personally so here we go let's uh let's go ahead and get rid of mm, yeah let's go ahead and get rid of the gameplay for now uh we still have it in our in our project uh oops not this one we still have it on our project uh over here so uh don't worry about that so let's listen to the game uh audio again all right guys test video this is just a test recording maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on so here you go yeah so it's not bad um it's a little quiet so i'm gonna i hit uh, alt and i just drag it over that's how you just create a copy so what I'm gonna do is add some audio settings. So what do we wanna see first? Let's type in parametric equalizer. And the first one we wanna grab a param parametric, sorry, I can't talk, equalizer. Go back to effect controls and you can see the custom setup. So what you wanna do is uh, make sure you can play it. So hit space and you can see how it sounds and change the guys, levels. Test video, this is and just so, test recording. Maybe we can play. And so my recommendation would just be to start dragging up and down. Um, you don't really want to drag down. You want to drag up usually while listening. So let's listen and I'll just make adjustments. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test recording. Maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on. So here you go. So as you can tell there, it sounds kind of different in comparison to right, this guys, one. Test video. This is just a test. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test. I'll play it again. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test record. All right, guys, test video. This is just so you can see it sounds much more in your ear, much more closer, right? So that's the first thing you definitely want to hear. Next thing you want to do, uh, this is the edited one. Next thing I like to do is have a bass add. So let's go ahead and drag bass in here and then just play around with it. Um, my voice is kind of deep, as you guys can tell. So let's just go a little bit. Let's just go two and let's hear how that sounds. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test recording. So that's uh, that's with a bass of two. Uh, let's go ahead and drag that back down to zero so you can hear how it sounds regardless without it. All right, guys, test video. This is and then let's try it with like five. All right, guys, test video. This is just so five is obviously way too much. I think even two is a bit too much. So let's go like 1.2 and let's see how that sounds. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test record. Not a whole lot of difference, but you know, if your voice isn't as deep as mine or something, you could just go ahead and add a bass. It's not a bad idea there. I also want to add a compressor. Let's add the multiband compressor here. There's actually a newer one. I clicked on the wrong one. Bruh. So let's add the multiband compressor. Go over to the left here, edit and uh let's let's play back the clip um all right guys test video this so, is just a test recording maybe so what you could do here is decrease the gain a little bit we can play around with the audio uh, later on. and then just kind of play around with these two right so let's uh let's go back to it all right guys test video this is just a test recording maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on so here you go messed up there um uh, let me go back to that all right, guys, test video. This is just a test recording. Maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on. So here you go. So you don't want to, if, if I don't know if you heard there, but you don't want to have the gain too high because you can hear background noise. Like you could hear my fan going on in the background there. So you don't want to have it too far. Uh, if you want, you could just decrease the gain a little bit and it'll just sound a little bit better. Not too much of a difference though. And the last audio setting that I like to use is called dynamics processing. So go ahead and add that. Click edit and uh, again, let's make sure we can play their clip. As test video, this is just a test recording. Maybe. So what you want to do is usually just drag these up a little bit and it's kind of the same idea. It just makes your voice a little more clear, a little more crisp. All right guys, test video. This is just a test recording. Maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on. So, so here you go. Right, so it's not terrible. Uh, you can change the preset here if you really want. Personally, I don't really touch it, but um, you know, you can you can change whatever you want. You could go voiceover or something like that. So uh, let's hear the final products again. All right, guys, test video. This is just a test recording. Maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on. So, so that's before. 
Alright guys, test video. This is just a test recording. Maybe we can play around with the audio uh, later on. So here you go. So in the second one, you could hear a little bit of uh, noise in the background, but overall it is a lot more clear and uh, a lot more interesting to listen to. I think it's just a lot more in your ears and it sounds a lot better uh, over music. So um, that's definitely uh, what you want to have there. Uh, so that's basically um, the main things you want to have, right? You just want to have, um, let me uh, just move this back. All you have to do is, you know, have your gameplay, uh, unlink, get rid of the, uh, the lines that you don't have. Oops, go ahead and go back and link. Uh, and you, you know, you get faster with it as you go on. Uh, start the video when you want to start it, right? So let's just say I want to start here, uh, ripple delete, add a, um, go ahead and add a cross dissolve. I have my uh, color correction set already, so I just drag a preset on and boom, there you go, you have it. You have your audio track, you have your uh, your gameplay track and so on. Uh, you can add music on another layer down here and just, you know, um, what you could do is hit G on the audio track actually, and you could just ad adjust the gain accordingly. So you could just uh, do minus 10, you know, minus, minus five, you could do 20 if you wanted to be like super loud. You could also do like normalize all peaks and this will lower everything and have the peak be at a certain uh, decibel. I think this is probably too right, high. Guys, test video. Yeah, it's a little too high still. It doesn't really work with uh, voiceover, but with you know audio tracks like music, uh, it works pretty well. I mean, besides those things, there's not a whole lot else I could tell you. There's like plenty of other things you could do, but this is like the gist of how I do a commentary, you know? But I don't use uh, the Adobe Premiere Pro. I don't use the Premiere Pro voice over here. As you can see here, I use uh, Audacity and then I transfer that over, which is what I highly recommend. Audacity is a free program and you could do a ton of editing within that and then drag that into Premiere. And then from Premiere, all you have to do is like have some bass boosts and you know, the settings that I just showed you over here on the left here. So I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is a very rudimentary, a very simple, simple guide to how I make my videos, how to make like a Call of Duty commentary, I guess. It's not meant to be super in-depth with a bunch of fancy edits or anything. This is just to help you get started, uh, maybe help you with some audio. I know a lot of people have audio issues. Maybe, you know, you didn't know how to color correct. Maybe you didn't know color correcting was a thing. You know, just some small little things. I can go more in-depth with some other things, uh, you know, if people are interested. So leave a comment if you're interested. But if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, you know, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more videos. See you in the next one. Peace out.